right, guys, it's that time. Welcome back to the All New Music in Motion, and I'm your host, Scott Miller. Um, we're gonna get running. This is our 2022 GMC Sierra. This is a super special project to us. We're titling her Project Elevation. Uh, we're doing a full Utopia M profile system in here, and not only is it gonna be amazing and the client awesome, but this is a Music in Motion demo vehicle. So it's gonna be a really cool build. We're gonna walk you through every aspect of it. Man, good gear, good car, or good truck. Let's jam. All right, guys, here we go. So Project Elevation, our 2022 GMC Sierra. Um, really cool truck. So in this video, what we're gonna cover for you, we did kind of jump, we got her all prepped up. We got some of our protection films around the truck. Got our entryways masked off, just to make sure everything's protected. Uh, in this video specifically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tackle the doors. Um, we're gonna get into our sound treatment packages. So we're gonna talk about the sound treatment we use, how we prep a door, uh, the benefits of why we prep doors, and the overall benefit to the, acu or to the audio system when we prep doors. Outside of that, while we're in there, we're also going to build some speaker adapters for this truck. Um, so we're gonna do those out of composite plastics. Uh, basically what we do is we take the factory speaker adapter, we make a template of it, and then we replicate it out of PVC, uh, HDPE in some applications. I mean, every vehicle's its own animal. And this one specifically, we're gonna be doing some expanded PVC. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, these adapters are about two inches in depth. And so to accommodate that, it's just the best material for the application. We're also gonna show you some block off plates, uh, how we close the door panels up, closing all the service accesses, keeping them serviceable, but also giving our speaker the best environment it can play in. And then, yeah, door treatment. So let's get running on that. We're gonna get the doors taken off. Uh, we're gonna get some templates made, get some treatment applied from our treatment. We're using some black hole Matt from Focal. So uh, yeah, we'll go over all that stuff, but let's go ahead and get jamming, guys.
Right on guys, so rolling along on our project elevation here. I want to show you what we got done in the doors yesterday. So you guys saw we got the outside skins treated. It's out here. We got the inside done here. So our normal process is just this, right? So we go through, we treat all the outside sheet metal. We treat the inside sheet metal. What we're gonna be doing now is we have our service accesses here. So these are actually, we're gonna get these closed off with some plastic. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do though is we're gonna do our speaker adapters. So this vehicle specifically came with a six by nine up in the front door. And we've got these. Oh, these things are gorgeous, man. These are the eight inch drivers. I think it's the 8WM from Focal and their Utopia M line. These, man, you wanna talk about some serious speakers. These things sound amazing. Um, so we did, we got all four doors treated here. So front and rear. So the first things we're gonna dive into again, we're gonna go ahead and get the speaker adapters done for the front. Um, getting the eight in these front doors. I'm not gonna tell you it's the easiest thing in the world, but we've definitely done it. So not this truck specifically, this is a brand new body style. So um, I'm gonna show you, we got, it's kind of what we're working with back here. So we have a couple clips that we're gonna use for reference just to kind of line this up. But it looks like we're gonna get a little bit of room adding the eight to the front. All right, again, we got a little bit of room adding it to the back. So again, it's, it's a snug fit, but uh, we're definitely gonna get her in there. So let's go ahead and get running. We're gonna set you guys up and yeah, let's go. Action! You filming? Yes. Right. <laughs> Hence the action. Oh, is that what that means? Yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do? That's not cool. Can you give me some pliers real quick? Never mind. I got it. Um, so this, I know we said new body style earlier. Um, it's a new interior for these trucks. The we have done speakers in these, obviously. Um, what we want to do is sneaking eights in this location is not the easiest thing to do, but that's what we do. So what I want to do is we're just trying to get an idea, obviously. So this is our old speaker. I'll show you kind of where we're where we're at here. If you can get in here and see this. Okay, so old speaker sits here. We have a little bit, can you see on the front side here? Let me get out of your way. So on the front side here we have our clips for the door panel. Um, what we're trying to do is this is the footprint of our eight. We're trying to see how much room we have to the front and to the back. So obviously we still fit. So you can see what we're doing right now is we're gonna mark between our clips. And so this is good. Let's go show them the door panel here. So what we got, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of take a center line here. And what we can see is we're gonna have Kind of centers in there so at the center so this gives us two inches so we're gonna comfortably say maybe inch and three eighths to inch and a half that we should be able to go outside of these clips so let's get that mark So what we did is we just took some tape and we drew a straight line basically between our clips. And if we go, I mean technically that's an inch and a half, which I think is big, but let's just do one and three eighths. So one and three eighths puts us out here, which again I think is going to be a little on the big side, but let's see. So we get a rough idea here. Uh, I'm sorry, can you grab our 8 inch ring off the door there? Thank you. Okay, so according to, yeah, see we won't even need all that. I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and center it up on here. And we should be good. We do have a little bit more space to the inside of the door here than we do the outside. But I think this is what we're going to try to work with here. So, to be honest, it's pretty centered up. So let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, to 
be honest, that's going to be pretty centered up. I think we will play just a slight bias to the inside of the door. Um, but if you can see, I don't know if you can see in here, we're not really hanging too far. So from the back there, probably hanging, what, three quarters of an inch on the back. So at any rate, it's going to fit. It's going to fit really awesome. It's going to sound really awesome, right? So um, let's go ahead. We'll, um, if we mess them up, we'll make them again. So uh, let's go ahead and get these cut. We're going to go ahead and get some templates. What we're going to do is we're going to run these over on the router. Um, we do take a template of the outside shape of this driver, but then we're going to incorporate the new area for the new speaker. Make some magic adapters. So let's go ahead and uh, get into super fast YouTube mode and make some speaker adapters.
Let's show you where we ended up with these here. These come out really nice. So, pretty cool. Got some black paint on them and stuff. So, these we're gonna get some fasteners in the bottom of the door for the two holes there. And then we use the factory bolt up at the top there. Um, yeah, so now they sit in there perfect. These are ready to roll. In their new home. So, while we were doing these, um, Megan did get some templates for the, the baffles for the doors as well. So let's see these. So she killed these things, man. These are awesome. So she's got all the plugs taken care of. Um, they're all set up to be rabbited. So we actually are, we're doing these out of half inch PVC. Uh, we just want a nice rigid baffle, man. I mean, this is our creme de la creme demo car. This is world class, man. So it's gotta, it's gotta perform. So the half inch is going to give us a little more density in the door there, just a little more rigid, just all in all a better application. Plus it stays in the plastic. So on the plastic keeps it very simple for us to work with. So, but we're going to go ahead and get these. We're going to go into a time warp here. We're going to go ahead and get these rabbited, get these all set up and ready to go on the truck. And then, um, yeah, then we're going to get some speakers installed and check these things and get them all wrapped up. So let's go ahead and get running.
So in that last time lapse, you saw we got all the uh, knockoff, or all the uh, block off plates handled, got everything situated there. Last thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and make our rear speaker adapter. Uh, we do have some, I believe it's integration speakers from Focal going in the back here just for some rear fill. Um, let's see what we got. I think we started the template here. Yeah, so we got a rough shape of the factory speaker here. And then we take these guys and one of these guys. We come in here, let's see. Show you what we got. So, factory speaker from Bose. Okay, nothing fancy. This we have our adapter that we made. Well, it's not our adapter; it's just our base plate. So basically, we just took a template of the speaker shape. So then, what we're going to do is this is the ring that will facilitate the speaker. So we'll go ahead and make a couple of those. Uh, looks like the height is roughly about an inch and a half. So we're probably going to do this out of three pieces of half. And then we'll go ahead and mill down the bottom so that way we can still use the factory hardware at the top and then we'll use our own at the bottom there. Uh, just like we did on the fronts. And then we will get this guy housed in his new location. So let's go ahead and jump into super fast YouTube mode. Make everything look like it happens in the blink of an eye. And uh, we'll go ahead and keep running on our demo car, man. So thanks for staying with us. coming out of that last time lapse to show you what we got um, got some speaker adapters made so these came out super cool so dusted them with some paint got them all prepped and ready so super cool so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is uh, gonna come get them put back in the truck get some speakers loaded up in here and get these back doors wrapped up and so we're all prepped in here um, we just gotta identify our speaker speaker wires here and we'll get these all buttoned up so Back door's gonna be complete, and then we're gonna roll into some fun stuff. I was I was debating what video to do next for you guys, but uh, honestly, I think we're gonna roll into the A pillar. So it's it's been a bit. I, I just wanna <laughs> I'm ready to jam out some really cool pillars. So uh, you guys, let's go ahead and get these back doors buttoned up, and uh, let's get into the fun stuff, dude. So y'all stay with us.
All right, guys, so we got the doors put back on her. She's all done. Let's go ahead and wrap up this door video. Let's show you what we went over here. So all the doors are back installed. Uh, hopefully, by the end of this video here, you guys understand kind of how our treatment packages work. So we talked about doing the outside skin of the door. We did the inside metal. We did touch on the back of the panel, which we didn't catch on film just because it wasn't necessary. Um, we did show you how we do our block off plates. Uh, the block off plates are gonna be the panels that we cut to close off the surface accesses in the door. And then we also showed you how we do our speaker adapters. So in this application, we did them out of a PVC, built them up about an inch and a half, got our drivers mounted and everything sealed, secured, mounted to the door. So as we can see at this point, I mean, if we go So definitely a little different, man. So it should, uh, should be a really good environment for these speakers to play in now. So we should get some mid-bass, get some real natural true response out of these drivers. So definitely a necessary evil when we talk about high-end stereo work. So if you guys are digging the video, we're gonna wrap this one up at this point. Go ahead and drop us a like, some comments on the video. Again, your feedback is always appreciated as we are a new channel. And just curious to see where you guys are at, man. You guys have questions, anything about the application, questions about the application, just let us know. We're always here and uh, we understand that our process may not be as common as you've seen at other stores and stuff like that. So we're happy to talk about it, you know, but we feel our application is correct. So um, we built some pretty amazing stereo systems. So it's a, if you ever get the chance to experience one, if you got a local car stereo shop and just want to check them out and see what it's all about. I mean, this stuff is a lot of fun. So um, go ahead and stay with us. If you guys haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe, the subscribe bell. Um, Follow the videos, follow the video series. You know, there's, um, we do quite a few videos over individual projects and stuff. Uh, this one specifically is obviously the first video, but after this, I think the next one we're gonna get into is the A-pillars, because I'm ready to have a little fun. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, let's wrap this one up. You guys stay with us. Uh, social handles like normal, Music in Motion BC, TikTok, Insta, Facebook, all the good ones. And uh, same thing on YouTube. So you guys are already here, just stay with us. So until the next one.